Hey, what's going on guys? So Apple has released macOS Big Sur 11.5 about a day after they released all their other software uh, for all their other devices. But yeah, we finally have 11.5 here. Not a huge update, just like all the rest of them. But this update I noticed has a ton of security related fixes. So we'll dive into those here in a second. Now, as far as new features goes here in this latest version, really there's only one, and that is to do with podcasts. So if you go to your podcast app, which I don't really use podcasts, so I can't show you this, but you now have the ability to see either all of your shows that you listen to or your followed shows. So just kind of making it consistent again with iOS and iPadOS. They introduced this on 14.7 on your iPhone, your iPad. So now it's here like that on your Mac as well. So you can now separate your shows in your podcast app. And that's literally it for new features here in this. The rest of it is pretty much fixes and uh, the security updates like I was talking about. So the first uh, issue they claim to fix here is that music may not update your play count and your last play date in your library. So if you use Apple Music, and you're listening to different songs and things, it's not going to update how many times you've listened to that song or the last day that you played it. So that issue should be resolved now. And the second thing has to do with smart cards. So if you have an M1 equipped Mac, there was a problem where if you used a smart card to log into your computer, it may not work. So the M1 chip wasn't recognizing these cards for some reason, so they should have fixed that issue as well. Now something else I uh, noticed is on iOS, they introduced the feature of course in the home app to allow you to see timers in your home pod in the home app. So you don't have to you know, go through your home pod, talk to it to set timers or manage your timers. You could do it in your home app on your phone. Well, on Mac OS, it looks like they did not include that. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So now let's talk about the security uh, related fixes here. So if we head over to Apple's support page, we can always go to their security update section. And this is where you can go into each individual release of Apple software and you can see every single thing that they actually fixed in the updates. So if you notice here up top, we have macOS Big Sur 11.5. It's also important to note that if you're still running Catalina or if you're still on Mojave, they actually did some security updates in those as well. So similar ones that they found in Big Sur. So if you're on those older versions of Mac OS, you also need to make sure that you update to get the latest security patches. But we can go in here to the Big Sur section and we can scroll through these and it is a whole lot as usual which is kind of crazy when you think about it that there's this many active exploits i guess you could say but the good news of course is apple actually fixes these things and they have a whole lot of people that help them actually find these and they report them to apple so they can correct them so if you've never seen one of these support pages before here's how you basically read it so first off in the bold text is what was the problem or what part of macOS had this issue. So in this case, the AMD kernel had a problem where an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. And then it tells you how they fixed it right here. So in this case, a memory corruption issue was addressed with improved input validation. And then right here is the people or the organization or whoever actually found this exploit and reported it to Apple. So they always give credit uh, where credit is due, of course. And you can look through here. So AMD kernel, you know, anything kernel is pretty serious. Uh, we have audio app kit. Uh, we keep going down, you see core services. So basically like the main processes that are running Mac OS. So that's kind of pretty crazy. So there's another one down here, the Intel graphics drivers. So yeah. Uh, pretty serious stuff here and you know kernel all that stuff uh, this update also uh, addresses the Wi-Fi bug which I don't think it's actually listed on here it might be I might have missed it 
but basically this was a problem on iOS as well. You joined a weirdly named uh, Wi-Fi network and it really ruins your day. So yeah, a lot of security related fixes here in Big Sur. And again, like I said, if you have Catalina or Mojave, you wanna make sure that you update uh, those as well. We can hop into Catalina real quick and just take a look at it. It's pretty much the same exact things. Usually they're pretty interchangeable regardless of the version of Mac OS. Maybe a few specific ones, but usually not. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Uh, Big Sur 11.5. Again, not a huge update, but a whole lot of security related fixes. So uh, that's good, of course. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching as always, and I will catch you all in the next video.